Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. It is 23, almost 22 minutes before the hour. The U.S. is experiencing the first nor'easter of the season, and it's already dropped nearly three feet of snow over parts of the country. The heavy snow is causing hundreds of thousands to be without power in the frigid overnight time and this morning. Chris Wynn has the latest from Massachusetts. The season's first nor'easter, burying some parts of the northeast under feet of snow. It's really heavy, really heavy snow, heavier than usual. Moving it feels like, you know, it's a workout. That heavy snow combined with strong winds creating dangerous conditions, causing structures like this barn in Massachusetts to collapse, killing some cows. Tough thing. I mean, we've been here 110 years. This has never happened. The snowfall also causing down power lines and outages and falling trees like this one in Derry, New Hampshire, that nearly crushed a six-year-old girl and her mother. I got out. I was trying to find her. I couldn't find her. I'm screaming. The city fire department and police officers using chainsaws and shovels worked for more than 20 minutes to free the child, who's now home from the hospital with the new stuffed animal and just a bump on her head. And across the Northeast, plow crews looking on the bright side of this late season storm. It's actually been pretty slow until now, until March, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I watch snowflakes turn into dollar signs. In Worcester, Massachusetts, I'm Chris Wynn reporting. Well, this morning, uh, the New England area looking for some clearing as this storm moves off into the Atlantic. The storm center is just offshore right now, and uh, through the course of the day, this is going to make its way toward the east. Uh, the By tonight, by about dinner time, uh, the only people that will be affected by that will be the maritime provinces of Canada. Uh, we'll stay cold in New England, but it is is not going to be stormy. Central Oregon, we've seen some clearing here as well, and we are looking at some streets that are a little bit on the icy side. It's certainly cold enough to keep that snow that we did receive. Calm winds at the Bend Airport. They've been a little variable at the Redmond Airport this morning, 29 degrees through there. Well, storm activity is still prevalent in the Washington Cascades and in the northern Oregon Cascades. We're also looking at a little bit of snow continuing but weakening, weakening in the Pendleton and LaGrande area, and uh, gradually all of this is going to move through. We'll have somewhat the variable cloud cover here in central Oregon as this weak, weak front makes its way through, but overall we'll see some clearing as we get through the day. We just don't warm up a great deal. Uh, we will uh, warm a little bit as we get into Thursday. Now, we'll be in the mid-40s, and keep in mind with, through all of this that our average high is 54 degrees. So we're going to stay v a bit on the cold side despite the sunshine. Mostly sunny on th uh, Friday. We'll push a few clouds in, and that's all part of a system that is going to give us partly cloudy skies Saturday and a chance of showers again on Sunday. Right now, we're scattered through the 20s for most, a couple of spots in the low 30s, and for the day ahead, not a great deal of wind. We'll see light and variable breezes stay with us through the day and overnight tonight, uh, and then we'll see uh, fairly gentle breezes uh, out of the north and northwest for the uh, remainder of our work week. Highs today will be in the upper 30s to low, maybe mid 40s for most. Lows tonight will be a little bit colder. We'll be in the mid teens to low 20s. Well, your extended forecast is going to look a little bit warmer. And I say a little bit because we never really do get back to our average of 54 degrees. We get plenty of sunshine going through 
the rest of the work week. The clouds will thicken Friday night. You are going to see partly cloudy skies on Saturday when our daytime highs will hit 50 degrees. As we get into Sunday, you are going to see a chance of some mixed showers that will settle in. And for the most part, it looks like they'll stay there for the, uh, well, as we come out of the weekend and into next week. Daytime highs will stay fairly mild, will be in the upper 40s to low 50s. Overnight lows will drop into the mid-20s.